morning, come in, everyone. Good morning, good morning. Hello. Don't you miss me? Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Welcome in the floors and the mirrors and the bark bark in the house. I feel like a guy scratchy in my throat. Hang on a second. Wait. Ah, uh, the wizard. Good morning. And, uh, yeah, Miss Wizard. Good morning. You're crazy. Hello. Welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. I, I did the first stream, actually. It was one of the first ones, but he's over a foot, so I can't use him. So. But yeah. Um, we are gonna get back into the Pokemons today. I got, uh, quite a few new Pokemon, and actually, um, if you check out the thumbnail, you see the new Pokemon I got, but... <laughs> but, last night, while I was double-checking I had things and stuff, I caught two new Pokemon that were under a foot! So we got two more that we can use, which are actually pretty helpful ones. Well, one of them is. I don't know about the other. But, uh, the levels are far too small, though, to really make a difference for what we'll do today. But I'll try to train them and maybe we can use them next time. Okay. Also, hopefully the sounds are okay. I, uh... It might be too loud now that I look at it. But, um... I forgot what I had to map <laughs> for this game. Yeah, one second. Ah. Right. Maybe that'll be a little better, probably. <laughs> but yeah, I got the got a couple new Pokemon. So, do you want to see them? Show them with these guys too. These are my Pokemon. So these right here and then on uh, these ones are the ones that we're using. These I just can't this one this is the the Mr. Mime I caught for you. But I can't use it. But and this I got a shiny gastrodon. I think it's a shiny, right? It's got the sparkle. Oh, you can't see it behind my logo. <laughs> There's a shiny mark on it, I swear. <laughs> yes, we got Pichu and Eevee last night. Why is it the different color? Because it's a shine. Yeah. I didn't even notice that it was a shiny for what it's worth though until I caught it. It didn't look that different in the game. But again, I can't use it. It's it's not it's well over a foot. But we got a bunch of other ones. Look, I got Sir Ghost Off up pretty good. We well, need some names. Did you warn me? You had like a whole week and a little bit more to think of some names. So hopefully you thought of some names because I would like to name them real quick. We need Combi, uh, the Quick Attack, um, those two have names. Okay, Shellus, Burmy, Paris, Pichu, and Eevee. I need names. I need names, people. Hmm. I also got some tea. I got the, one of the teas that Alice sent me. It's like a, a apple kind of apple wind or something or other. But I will say it's not my favorite of the teas that she sent. But I need to still drink it. <laughs> it doesn't taste bad. It's just not my favorite. I like the marzipan one. That one was pretty good. Jealous, maybe. Oh no, the heart's in the way. See if I can see it over here. Slugger? Ah, oh, that's a pretty cute little name. That sounds good. I don't know if this 
which one's the east or the west type, but I know that there's two different shadows. You got coffee nuts. Alright, we got one for for this the shallow slugger kid. We still need six more names. Six more names, Wormies! I don't have a whole lot of time, so if you don't name these quick, then we might not get to play the game. But yeah, I probably only got like an hour, hour and a half. I need to finish the thumbnail for Saturday, which is gonna be so good! Actually, you guys are gonna be so excited. Nimster. No, not for me! Pokemon names! <laughs> Need a random name generator? Hmm. I used to always name my Eevee that I would get in Crystal Star because I would use them and have it be an umbrella. But I can't do that. We can't evolve it. Umbreon's over a foot tall. I know name. You want to name one of them Nimster? I'm not gonna name one of them me. Uh, my name is Nimkid. How, how like, self <laughs> loving is it to name everything after yourself? I'm not that kind of rude. Hmm. Think of some cool, like, like, I heard this logo, you know, they sound really dignified, this is your Gustav. We got the uh, Alfred and the Wormy. We got Wormy, though, don't worry about Wormy. Mm. Maybe something that sounds kind of cool. A little mean, even though they're tiny, right? Hmm. Hmm, they're both boys here. What? This <laughs> is <laughs> freaking Mentos. <laughs> okay, I guess. <laughs> oh man, that makes me think of the song. I think it's Wilson, though, but I think they changed it to Hilton and some other things. But the Miss Wilson, you must be able to turn your back. It's a feeling that you don't really give up. Yeah. Let's actually just call it. It's a guy, so I'm gonna call it Mr. Hilton. And we all know that it's Paris, so it makes sense. <laughs> Name it Peter Griffin? Which one? I don't know about Peter Griffin though. That's like an actual. This is, this makes, I don't know, this is a little more silly. I feel like, because it's at least named Paris, right? Here we go, Mr. Hilton. Hmm. I kind of want to name this guy Bruce. <laughs> I think that's the wrong button. Oh, oh. Oh. Unfortunately, we probably won't use Bruce too often. We got Alfred and Bruce. Wait a second. Hmm. Oops. <laughs> oh, young guys. Good morning, welcome in. Uh, we're naming things. You got any names? We need a name for Combi, Quickatot, uh, Pichu, and Eevee. Hmm. Got Minty. It's in the like metals. Up, so. Sorry if it's loud. Hmm. 
Then let's actually, I think Evie and Pichu are boys. Uh, oh, they're all boys. Okay, well, they're all boys. I mean, it doesn't really matter, I guess, but they are. At least in both Hmm. Hmm. As to hang on, how do I say that? As to as tofu? How do you say that? <laughs> one of them is hmm, which one is Evie is definitely different. Hmm. Evie reminds you of Vivi Tan, uh, like a uh, Final Fantasy, uh, yep, yep, Final Fantasy 9 for Vivi. Well, we're gonna name that one. Okay. Astolfo? 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 Is that right? I want this one to be, what do you name, like, you know, when you have, like, uh, the little guy and the, or the big guy and their name Tiny, what would be the little guy that would be, like, you don't just call them big. Um, not the mini me. No, I'm talking about the other way around. Like, Bob. No. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, if they're big and you call them tiny, but if they're tiny, you don't call them big, what would you call them? Like, as a name. Did you. The Duke. <laughs> the Duke. Hmm, not Junior. Oh, I guess maybe after big, but hmm. But that's if they're big, you call them Junior, and then it's ironic. Ironic is the word I'm looking for. But Grande, you call a small one Grande. Jumbo, Jumbo, like Jumbo Shrimp, actually. Hmm. I like the Duke though, but I think I want to name the Quick Attack the Duke. He looks like a duke. We got the awesome. The. All right. So you know, jumbo. Something like that, maybe? I don't know. But, okay, show me who they are. If you're not familiar, I am not. <laughs> I don't know them by name, at least. Maybe I've seen it, but... <laughs> Granddaddy. Okay, I do know the character, I guess. I just didn't know what his name was. <laughs> Hmm, granddad. We have Papa. Papa Pichu. Hmm. Isn't that a person? I think. I think Gardner watches that person. I feel like I've heard him say that name. Hmm. Flintstone? <laughs> like Fred? P. 
Pichu equals granddaddy. What? I'm not sure if I understand that. What was I gonna name the Pichu? Papa. Um. Maybe. It's an inside joke. Oh. Well, keep it out of my jacket. <laughs> nah, it's okay, but dang it. I don't understand if, if, if it's like meme stuff too. You know, I'm, I'm too spooting for that. Papa too, I like that. We'll do that. Did the P and the C's be open? Papa Chew. Papa Chew! Guys, it sounds like a whole different thing. It doesn't even sound like Papa Chew. Papa Chew. We'll make a big. We still need one for Combi, though. Alright, we got Papa Chew. <laughs> Mr. Helton, Bruce, Slugger, Sir Gustav, The Duke, Warren, Alfred, Astolvo. I feel like I'm never gonna say the poor Evie's name right. <laughs> name it Pochato. Is it at the dog? Don't. I did say it right. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Combi, what can I name this? Wait, oh, oh, I know, I know. I know. This is simple, but, you know, buzz. There we go. Alright, you guys don't have to think about it. I figured it out. Alright, there we go. Now we can play the game. <laughs> um, I need to gather thingy, possibly. What skills does Mr. Hilton have? Um, I'll show you here in a second. Actually. Mr. Hilton actually is probably the best bug type moves. Like, the other bugs, unfortunately, don't have a whole lot. I actually really only have Bruce in my team still because... Um, I've been just trying to get them up to level 30. That's why I kind of put Buzz in the thing because he hit level 30. And then I got the P2 and the Eevee to level up now. And we should definitely keep the, the Pokemons that... Actually can be stronger, which kind of stinks to say, but, you know... Alright, I need two more side ups. Mm -hmm. Alright, that's what I thought. I think I can go get a new star. To the village. And then we'll go fight Glaceon. And hopefully do better, but... I'm not positive if we will. It may learn some spore stuff. Oh, wait, I gotta show you. Dang it. I'm sorry. I spaced it. Okay. Yeah, they're kind of new still, too. The lower level. Oh, not change. Well, I guess that kind of shows you their moves. But we should go over speaking of the moves. Because I did just get the Pichu and Eevee. We should go buy the moves from the one lady. I really enjoy that. It makes it so easy. And like to change your moves, like no problem and stuff. There we go. Some. Is that 11 inches? Oh. Mr. Hilton's not here. Huh. We got Jolly Papa Chew. Aww. I told for his set is lonely. Misery! You're lonely. Oh, he modest. He's king. Oh, Bruce is rash. That makes sense. That makes sense. Alright. 
get our star and then let's go get some loose go fight some tanks I have been checking do they get more moves if they do get leveled up in the thing hmm. I feel like it's still a little loud huh? That's not what I wanted to do. So I hate my city. Wait, hold it out a little better. Still no toga pee. But I did find like the places that the Pichu spawns so I can go like get more Pichu and stuff. That's where I, I got a couple Pichus but I let the other ones go. Um and then I know the Mr the Mime Jr. and stuff. There was a Mr. Mime too. I'm not really sure what you're supposed to do with him. He like puts his little shield up and stuff. Mm. I caught some of the big bad guys. I got the Parasect and um, this guy, I think, the star one, and then the beetle. Um, maybe not the beetle. I didn't catch it, but the the whatever beetle's evolution is that one. But which is fought it didn't catch it. Right. We're like halfway in our stars already. Ah, uh, thank you. Yeah, I couldn't remember what it was called. New five star, thank you, thank you. Wing ball is freaking. Oh, okay, good, good. Hmm. Oh, it's like an upgraded version of the air one. Hmm. Alright, is there. Anything needs on Discord? Yeah. Yeah, five star, five star, sound cool. Hmm. Alright. Hey, lady. New movies. Alright, so let's see. I don't know if I checked Mr. Hilton's. Nope, I didn't check Mr. Hilton's even. So look at all the other movies we can get from him. He can learn what the heck? Man, he can learn so much. Hmm. Alright, let's see what the others can learn. I got a decent amount of money. Ooh, okay, alright. The Pichu can learn a good chunk of stuff still. The baby doll eyes. Hmm. Well, I lowest their offense too, interesting. Hmm. And to punch Iron Tail. Right, so okay, good, good, good. We got some options. We got some good ones, I think. What is the bad baby? But oh, these are just the thing, but that's kind of crazy. Okay, shadow ball. Okay, okay. Hmm. I don't know if I got money for all of it. Since we're not actually going to be able to use Papa too, or then probably for the for the battle, then we'll do we'll do his stuff. Um, to check someone. Mm. I like the leech life. Box smash. The 
energy button. I think that seems pretty okay. Yeah, with this, I think we we'll might give the papa to the baby doll eyes. Hmm. Alright, and then... Oh, wrong time. Alright, thank you for your time. And then we can change their moves. The high priority growl. Oh, okay. Um, do anything in town? I right, hopefully, hopefully we can do this. I will. Say I'm not positive how this is gonna go. I I don't know. I just I don't know. I hope I don't have to train more on stream. <laughs> Um, this is where the P2s are. And then... I think it was this one is where the Mr. Martin or the Martin Jr. is. But it might be that one. And this I caught a Munchlax at. Drink some water. Actually, scared one before, so. I missed. Eek. Eek. All right, fine, whatever. I got my Papa too. I've not actually like scared it before, so I didn't see that. That's kind of cool. There's a side duck over there. I need a side duck for the for the pokey deck. Be mad if you can be in the box. Aren't you gambling? I will go in your car. Right.
It's cause I'm probably gonna die early on. <laughs> Okay, we might be better than I thought. <laughs> yeah. Dang it. <laughs> Still kill me, but why did you get to attack twice? Uh... Oh, a slugger. Oh, we're taking a slugger. Go, slugger! Super effective, but I'm super over <laughs> levels. Yeah. <laughs> Woohoo! We did it! That went much better than I thought. I seriously didn't think it would go well. Well, the Sir Gustav still died, I guess. Oh, wait, I gotta read. I forget. So, I still understand the Pokemon that you caught and treat them as part. You feel better putting my trust into you now, I think. Let me see. To your Pokemon fruit. I think. Now explain the Pokemon's. Oh no. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with these fruits? Hmm. So, because you have to keep your distance, you'll smash them. Yeah. Smash them together in a ball. Yes. And throw them at him. Interesting. So, you have developed. Suiting bombs of sorts to calm our lord. Very well, if it'll keep Sud Clever's frenzy. Let's make these bombs with our very hearts and swords. Um, I think the food, just the food is fine. Oh. Where'd we get the basket? There, a vertebra. I can't read! Mountain of the bombs. This um, should keep clever if anything can. Now, then, ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty clever lord of the woods. Alright, here we go. Hopefully, I can take on this guy. I'm ready! So am I. Or as am I. Sorry, I can't read. <laughs> Oh, my clever lord of the woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony. We've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Benevolent lord who works his might between the heavens and earth, we offer our gratitude. And beseech you, reveal yourself to our eyes. Listen well, Nimkid. Keep your focus on clever. Dodging will be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. Oh god, do I gotta do this? <laughs> what is the clever? He just chopped down the tree. Oh man. <laughs> That's the pro training. Uh, to claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you'll have to throw bombs at it to until the team. If you manage to create opening defenses, you'll be able to send out the Pokemon and battle against it. And okay. Oh god. Ah! Ah! Send the Pokemon into battle. Oh god. <laughs> No, I have 
expecting this is auto battle for some reason. <laughs> ah, Costa! He's young. Costa, go! My little sucker, why do I have him? Interesting when we gotta like beat him up a couple times. Oh, a move master. Good job, Evie. They were watching. As, 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 an insect plate. I think. Um, the insect's a bug when used onto a Pokemon and allows the Pokemon to gain the power of bug type. There it goes. Hmm. He was just a little hangry. That was all. The hot dog with the whipped cream? Uh, probably not. <laughs> but I don't really eat hot dogs, so. 
Um, hang on. Oh, I think I supposed to read! Has Lord Clever Frenzy's mind truly been put at ease now? Is this confirmed that the strange light has to blame for the Clever's unnatural power? I don't know. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lighting came from out of the space-time with the other night. Those bolts must have struck Clever and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift. But if all medicine really does dwell beyond the space-time rift, then the strange lighting it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power! Then where we even try to... Then, then where we even... Ah! Then were we even right to try to intervene? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs if, as if I knew what I was doing like some kind of dialless fool. Outrageous! Calm yourself, Lee. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the poor clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Clever to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. What Nimkid did accomplish just now? It, 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 it needed to be done. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful fear and seek, please help them. Hmm, yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for coming briefly and composed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my life. Please take these on my behalf, or on the behalf of the broken. Consider my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier, and the token of my thanks. Mm -hmm. I'm situated. Three? Do you want to give me three bears? Let me care for your Pokemon as well. And I appreciate that. I appreciate that. I think we finally come to the belief that you truly did fall out of the sky, though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. And it seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Quiver in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. Alright, we did it! Hmm. Would you like this in there now? Uh, I don't need hamburger either. But that's kind of interesting on the inside. I don't know, how would you get strawberries and ice cream inside a hamburger to begin with? That's the wrong button. Ah, uh, this guy. I forgot about him. Give me your toga I saw the lighting light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Ah, uh, those are two of the fable plates of all. Please let me have a look and trade. I'll trade you for your Pokemon. 
Give me your togepi, I'll let you look at the place. I see there are some letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says... Where all creation was born, that is the bean's place of origin. It seems to be a phrase from the very old myth. How did you come across these? The Pokemons gave them to me. I see. So you were given the plates when you uh, impressed the wheel during the clay work. That is quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It is my guess that you will find these plates like these scattered across his feet. If we were to gather them all and decipher the script on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mis mysteries of the past, oh how they tickle my curiosity, what a joy to be alive in such times. Well, I must be on my way. Until next time. Uh -huh. Oh, but there's some other stuff. Nice. I finally had some other random things to do again. Hmm, well done. I have already received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled the cleverest frenzy, restoring peace of mind to these sweet people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell out of the very sky, yet you have served the galaxy team admiral. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. I think I'm gonna drink some tea. But things are not settled yet. I've received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere in his way. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you truly are an asset to us. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow Survey Corps members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. Thank you. Mission complete. Benny, old chum, the usual order. Three servings, potato mochi, please. Oh, and if there is anything else that you recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about your young friend here, you know. She's got quite some luck to have come back on home after facing off against the clever. I dare say them kid was well prepared. Yeah, maybe a little too well prepared. And she was quickly studied to how clever moved in battle from what I heard. I just ran him into a tree, but... <laughs> All in all, it was a very good show. A victory well earned. Going to work in the field land should feel a lot safer now, thanks to you and MK. And if you want to feel even safer, try making some of these. Benny taught me how to make them. So I wrote out his directions into a recipe. Smoke bomb? Hmm. Master Fun and a sit foot root. <laughs> I don't think I've seen either of those things. Look, and now that we need uh, not worry about being mauled by Clever Eater, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that called the Obsidian Field Lands their home. I might be 16 steps ahead of you, buddy. Did 
ice cream mochi? I don't think they have an ice cream mochi. Oh, who are you? Nimkit. Yeah? I've been waiting for you, Nimkit. My name is Betta. There is something real important that I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Mm. Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Hisui is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, the magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate, so please, Nimkit, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. Uh, yeah, what do you want? What do you mean? Is this a kid game? I'm not positive. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy to you believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This old odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Alright. <laughs> hmm. Collect wisps that glow with a eerie purple light. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across to his room. A hundred and seven of them in total! You need me to catch a hundred and seven of these things? With the odd keystone I gave you, you'd be able to gather them all. See, the wisps are normally in invisible, but not to the holder of the odd keystone. Huh. I know it's a huge task, but please, you just have to gather all the wisps for me. There is one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? How can you still see it? She just knows it's there. See the flame hovering over there? Try touching it. I thought you said only the holder can see them. Hmm. Alright, alright. I'm trying to touch it. Why won't it let me touch it? Did I duplicate? Well, then she can get the 54 of them. <laughs> the wisp has been absorbed into the hard keystone just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisp. The last, the one, and one last thing. As you gather more and more wisp, I'll give you some more rewards as things. No, it's okay. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Hmm. All right. Well, that was a nice little chime. Oh, the next day, apparently we fell asleep right there. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Wow! Ah! Hey! Oh, hey! You're an M kid, the girl quite the clever, aren't you? Hey, you can't fool me. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of the almighty sin of chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of... Scared of you for doing something so bold. Who are you? Um, a rezu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Your skill is giving haircuts? I detect master. Good morning. Welcome in. Good morning. It's done, but not actually done. <laughs> Oh, Snip, but I came here to talk to your Mr. Commando. Commando! See you around. 
Oh, you won! Punch, punch, punch! Oh, you both won! Nice. Oh man, there's so many things to gather again. <gasps> nice. Oh man, everybody's winning. Man, Streamlabs just giving it out. Huh? We just came up here to eavesdrop. <laughs> Blow one big yesterday, too. Yeah, that's true. I got the triple egg. Being very nice lately. Hmm, so it comes. Wait, so it's come to Ursaluna as well? This suggests that even Pokemon that are not nobles can become friends. I have received no word from um, Dama or Arida, but this is not something you can simply ignore. In any case, you have my thanks, Ms. Rezu. You did well to inform us of the Ursa Luna situation. No problem. Uh, Dama's got his hand full running our clan and on. Ursa Luna's warden wouldn't even give me the time of day so the galaxy teams are the only one that could turn to about this Ursulana's warden is Miss Miss Chris Kalab Kalaba of the Pearl Clan is it not? Of all the warden she is the most narrow-minded bound by tradition uh, she likely does not take kindly to outsiders meddling in her affairs. I have a new mission for you, Nimke. Oh, great. You just said he doesn't like the outsiders. I'm like the ultimate outsider. I order you to study your saloon in the Crimson Maryland. I permit you to show your strength if necessary. Hmm. And you guys are just throwing out the pebbles. Next area, you will send the investigation to Crimson Murray. You will find the Pokemon living there to be more fearsome than those of the Obsidian Fieldlands. Even the landscape itself is harsher with steep ravines and seaside cliffs. It is not welcoming. At your current rate, you should be able to hand handle the Crimson is on your own. Here is what you need to know. The destination is a place within the Maryland known as the Solacian, Solacian Ruins. That is where you'll find the Ursa Luna's warden. Hmm. Alright then, I guess. Oh, we got some more thingies over here too. Mm -mm -mm -mm. <laughs> I, mean, I don't know the superpower things. What what is an overpowered superpower which is like a regular powered superpower? To free your labor? Seriously. Oh my god. Look at all these. What time are we at? Oh dang it. Hmm. You know, I'm not positive how much we can really do. Let's just try to get to the new area. Wait, what are these guys? You guys have stuff? We got the great stock. Oh, uh, maybe. Tell spray. Apple berry. I don't know what the heck that is. I think I know what a honey cake is, though. I guess I'll take a half of berry, say. I don't know what it is, but... Ten of them. Oh, it's a pee pee thing, okay. What about you? Oh, okay, you got a regular store, that's good. 
Did I get a deal? He gave me 10. I think he gave me a deal. He gave me like half off. Hmm. I am barked on. Hmm. I don't really need any of those. Alright. We gotta, gotta stay. We gotta stay on. Uh oh. What do you, do you need something? We gotta stay on the mark so we can go to the new place. And then maybe I can look around the new place um, in between this and the next Pokemon. The regular power. Back back. <laughs> Metapotence or time? What's metapotence? I don't even know what that is. Would you choose um, nature or plant manipulation? I mean, uh, being enough, I can either already have that, right? I don't know. I'm not like super in need of a power. Um, maybe like the that one movie, The Jumpers, where you just like look at the picture or have it in your head and you can go there. That would be kind of nice, I guess. Then I would save a lot of plane money tickets and I could visit my friends. Oh, we gotta help train him. I guess, but my Pokemon might be a little too strong. Maybe we pull out the pop with you. Is that beyond Omnipotent? Well, I don't know what Omnipotent is. Oh, he's got the Mr. Mime! Oh, dang! Alright, the right. Do you wanna play that game? <laughs> oh, he's got more Pokemon! Send out good stuff. Seems right that the one who could defeat the Lord would be me too, I guess. Aww. Thanks for the battle here. Let me give you a new recipe. You you gave me one a little bit ago. Hmm. Is like the godlike power that can be able to do anything? Uh, that sounds very boring. If I know anything, when you have more power, the less fun it is. Uh, ever seen Saitama's? He tell you. You're gonna lose all your hair and get to sad face. Hmm. Barely made out alive. Careful around with distortion thing. Okay. Hmm. Alright, hopefully we'll make it out alive. Wow, it is all the way over here. Hmm. Bum, 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 bum. Yeah, it's a new area. 
Here we are with my girl, the Crimson Maryland, an area teaming with poison wielding Pokemon. Yeah. And plenty of others besides. Seems like you're in for a tough mission. I'm sure you can handle it though. Oh, that's right. You're headed to the Solacean Ruins, aren't you? They're off that way if you need a pointer and see the entrance over there. Oh, okay. We gotta go over there, huh? Ah, oh, Dinesh! Welcome in! Good morning. You know, I wish I could tell where or when one of those space-time distortions was going to erupt. I wonder if checking your map would help. Hmm. Space-time distortions are the dangerous places where the po powerful Pokemon appear. However, if you're brave enough to enter them, you might be able to find rare Pokemon and items inside. I'm counting on both of you to carry out your survey work as best you can, but to be mindful of your limitations as well, won't you? If wild Pokemon are giving you trouble, I suggest you go to the training grounds and have Captain Cheezo teach your Pokemon some strong moves. Mm. Alright. New place. Man, everybody something for me. I guess I'll grab yours. You're right here. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? What do you want? Rosalia! Hmm. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. What have you done? Craft some of these. Craft one of those. One of these. Oh, that's that's fun. One of these. Is it the bomb? Hmm. Hmm. I mean, we take the map. Would you pie, try pizza with just a pile of sugar on top? What is that? Just you just, like pizza dough, or like what makes it pizza at that point? Like, is there cheese and sauce? Because if it's just bread and sugar. <laughs> I can eat bread and sugar. Oh, is that a Badoo? Oh my god, I think that's one that we can have. What? Dang it. Alright, it's further away than I think it is. Right over here. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, there's another one! Alright. How do you do? Oh no, but do! Alright, apparently we're gonna have to use our... Great bars here. No more Poke Bars. Go back! Yeah, you! Am I too far out? Maybe I'll try this other one. There's another one over here I saw. There it is. Pizza! Pizza! What the heck? I can't see freaking aim apparently! Oh, I went into the ground? Honey! Oh no, the thing! Oh, it's back though! Yeah. No, I didn't do anything. Fancy. Ah, dang it, I'm just wasting balls. I'll get- I'll do this later. Wasted time, wasting balls. This does seem like a pretty cool place though. Ah. Mm -hmm.
Would you like to talk? Dodging is everything we are. Look at that, there's dodge. Watch out! Watch out! Whoa! 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 Sorry, the internet was being funny. I'm caught up by the pearl clan more than caught up by you. Oh. Huh. Now, would you look at that? You have a celestial flute. You must be one they say fell out of this time, time, space time road. I see. I see, I see. I've already heard about you, that you quelled Clever and his frenzy. I'm sure many people were saved by your actions, but I wonder if there wasn't some other way to handle the situation. What you did is hardly different from fooling a Pokemon into submission, after all. I mean, I fed him. And you run about catching Pokemon up in those little balls you carry. I don't need any help from your sword or the diamond clan for that matter. That lady, young lady Azura offered to help, but associating with the diamond clan, it just won't do. Be on your way. There is much I must do. I prefer not to be distracted any further. Uh, I like her leaves. And then, but why is this guy here? How about you show me the strength that could quell even a frenzied lord up? Oh. Can you give me your dang togepi? <laughs> Bow with you might let me experience even more fraction. What if this guy just came out of nowhere and was like, hey, you wanna fight? Oh, he got something other than togepi. I did that totally first, though. Apparently, we have slug girl for you. Then you get the goose now. Maybe I should have picked something that was super cool. Such prodigy, such. I think it's prodigy, yes. String. Now let me just heal up the Pokemon. Thank you. Well, now I think that settles it. I must ask your help in retrieving the stolen wall fragment. With your skill, it should be a cinch. Yo, yeah, what? What? Stolen? Yes, exactly. Some bandits pillaged the celestial rune and made off with a fragment of the wall engravings. Oh, have you not heard of notorious misfortunes? Ah, ha, ha. You're, there are a trio of bandits that have even hit us, uh, Gingo Guild merchants, more than a few times. Not the kind of regulars I like to have, let me tell you. 
Miss Calaba is doing everything she can to regain the fragments, but at 99 years old, she's 99. <laughs> It's a bit hard for her to chase leads, uh, yeah, leads all over the place. So what do you say, kind madame? Why not help find the fragments for the warden? Oh, naturally I'll help you lead, help, happy to lend a hand. Those sisters swiped my wares too, and I'm no Gingo Guild Merchant if I take that line down. And fair, far be it for me to tell them just get away with vandalizing the precious ruins of their regions. You know, I did see the remains of the campfire near the Maryland camp. Perhaps worth checking out. Hmm. Alright. How fast can we get there? This is a different thing. Man. It's a mythic music. It's a burnt out campfire. Somebody must have been here. I mean, it looks like a regular campfire, but not been burnt. Now, who might you be? Not some stray traveler from the look of you. Ah. There's only one reason people go poke around here in the middle of nowhere. You're after us three after, aren't you? Sisters, we should introduce ourselves properly. Before we show this poor fool how wrong she was to assume we could, she, she could ever beat us. I bring good luck to my sisters wherever I go, and I'll luck to wait and ill luck to anyone who crosses our path. I'm the eldest, and I'll be your unlucky child. And dot. Wait, dot. You spotted a four-leaf clover. Well, I'll soon see, have you see in double. I'm the middle sister, and I'm one clover you can't pick. Heads, I win and tails, you lose. You've got no chance in this game of fortune. I'm the youngest coin, but I'm definitely not your good luck piece. <laughs> Time to gamble. <laughs> We're the infamous banded trio, the Misfortune Sisters, and your luck's just run out. Let me handle this, sisters. I'll, you'll, I'll only hurt her a little. Come on, talk to Croc. Let's douse this fool in poison. Ooh Youngest coin has... That's supposed to be a coin pun? Or a gambling pun? I don't know. They got one Pokemon each. Flash Slugger. Not fun with this outcome, but at least it's still better than plowing fields for the galaxy team. Yeah. Hm. The galaxy team continues to spoil things for me even after I've left. Take the blasted fragment and go. Just leave us alone. Nice! Wall fragment. Okay. The weird writing on it made us think the stupid thing was some kind of treasure. But it turned out to be a worthless slab of junk. I'd do ever for nothing. 
Tell me, why were you even seeking us out? What set you on this path? Uh... To help that, to Ursaluna. Goodness, how selfless of you to go so far out of your way for the sake of another. Not all of us have the luxury of offering such unthinking kindness to strangers. For some of us, simply surviving another day takes all that we have. And I've got a score to settle with the galaxy team, which now includes you! Oh man. Remember those ancient verses tell us why is it in days of spring beneath the soft presses of the sun, the blossoms tremble and fall, spirits lashed by uncertainty. Your days are also numbered, galaxy fool. On the competo! Thank you, Mythos. You like their face tattoos? Are you just hungry, sir, right? All you're doing is talking about food. Oh, there's a Pikachu over there. Uh -huh. Alright, let's go put this back in the ruin. But we're, I don't think that we'll be able to fight the guy today. Um, I need to wrap up and be done. I need to finish. The thumbnail for Saturday, but tomorrow there will be stream, but it will not be on my channel. It will be elsewhere. Um, I will say I'm not positive where the elsewhere is right now. <laughs> I don't know if it's Twitch. I think it might be Twitch. Oh no, they want to find the water. But I'm not positive. Oh my god, don't find the water. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna um, join the Toon Cat tomorrow. For a watch along. And it'll be um, like 30 minutes after the this stream that started today. Like that time. I don't know what that time. 5 5 p.m. PT P PDT and then 8 p.m. Eastern, I think. Yeah. And then Saturday will be a fun thing too. So, oh, you got the fragment back safe and sound. But I need to finish the thumbnail for Saturday. Hmm. I'm well, well, well aware of the Calabra's reputation. They say she's stubborn, too old fashioned, and so on. But she's given the Pearl Clinic all she has ever since she was young. She lived her prime years. Here in the Hisui region, trusting in the guidance of the Almighty Sinnoh. I don't think it's that she hates the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team, rather, I think she simply loves the Pearl Clan very, very much. Anyway, I do hope you'll be able to help calm the Ursaluna's frenzy in kid of raging Pokemon in the area. Definitely isn't good for business, I'm sure. Hmm. Yeah. It should be fun. I doubt that I have to fight them right after. It usually gives me a choice. So. Oh, so you come to bother me again? Well, come as often as you like, but it won't change my mind. The wall friend. What? You went and retrieved the fragment from those bandits? Why go out of your way like that for a complete stranger like me? I guess you're that eager to calm the Luna, huh? That's why. I'll admit that I didn't expect anyone else to truly care for the Luna. Well, then, let's see the wall fragment. And there we go. Good as you. No, oh, we got some Pokemon. Did anybody read that? All. I think the first word is all. All. Something, something, something. <laughs> hmm. What's it say? Live. All lives. It says all lives. 
All lives. Yeah, all lives. That's what I got too. All lives. It's T O. Hmm. Touch. All lives touch. Okay, that's good. That's good. So then it's definitely an O that one. O T H maybe that one then. Other. Hmm. All lives touch other. Maybe it's supposed to be others. Hmm. That looks about right though. I think that's right. Oh, oh, we got more. Okay, our lives touch other lives too. Our lives touch other lives too. Cre create. Our lives touch other lives to create, I think. Not the booty. Not the booty. Or to create. Oh goodness, what is this one? Alright, all lives touch other lives to create. So. So. Something? Did that really just say something? It does say something. You're right. All, <laughs> all lives touch other lives to create something. That's all it says. <laughs> oh, there's more, there's more, there's more. <laughs> Our lives touch other lives to create something. And and wait, A and E W. A new. Ah, oh, thank you. I didn't know what the word was. <laughs> a new and alive. Oh. All right, there it was. Let me read what it says. I already read it. Uh, we already read it. See, our lives touch. Other lives to create something anew and alive. I see. I suppose it means people helping each other like how you helped retrieve the fragment. I've read this passage many, many times, but this is the first time I've truly understood what it means. Maybe this is Almighty Sinnoh's guidance. <laughs> I didn't have time to say anyway. What was the point? What is your name, then, girl? <laughs> but wait, there is more! <laughs> I see, Nimkid. Please lend me your strength so that we may help Dozaluna. It's true that Dozaluna has become a rage, but he doesn't seem to be in an utter frenzy. I think he will return to his normal state if we can just give him some medicine. I could never bring myself to engage Pokemon in battle, but that's something I can rely on you for, am I right? Razor Luna prefers to stay on Sludge Mound. Please join me there when you're ready. Hmm. Alright, that's gonna have to be for next time. Um, I guess we'll just stay right here. Oops. All right. Well, I think we got a good chunk of the story in. You know, we ran through a couple of thingies, and then hopefully I'll be able to power up the Pokemon a little more, and then we'll be able to power through the story um, next time too. Maybe maybe we can get a little bit further also, because hopefully I should have a little more time. But yeah, I need to get that stuff done. And then I also, I guess, need to make a new thumbnail for the next Pokemon thing. So, ah, there's always stuff to do, huh? Explore east of the East River in this area when you get the chance. Wink, wink. East of the East River. Okay, okay. Is that where the Togepi is? Is that what you're trying to tell me? Is that where Togepi is? Because if that's where Togepi is. I'll probably not explore too much. I'll try not to explore too, too much. But let me check on those Badoos we got. Hmm. And it just means again once more. Yeah, I feel like that... <laughs> the... A new... 
blah blah. It felt like it was like a Mojo Jojo saying where you kind of said the same things over three times. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, so uh, tomorrow, hang out with Toon Cats. Uh, we'll be over there. Um, I'll try to post in the Discord where it's supposed to be. And then we'll be back here on Saturday. I think I start at 4 p.m. I think. I'm pretty sure. But I'm not positive. You'll see when I set up the weight room, I guess, huh? <laughs> Okie dokie. Have a good day, do have a room. Thank you for hanging out for a little bit. Sorry, it's a shorter one. Bye, to him. Take care of yourself. Drink water. Until next time. Bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye, to him. Bye-bye.